the best content marketing strategy is that it should not look like marketing it should look as an integral piece of the content and it should be a meaningful story or a meaningful proposition to the consumer to which the consumer is attracted naturally versus uh, you know even the consumer realizing that there is marketing in fact marketing is best when it's like water when it's not present or perceived by the consumer in fact not even water like air and i think if content marketing can uh, achieve that whether it's an informative video or an entertaining video if it can actually achieve that larger purpose to the consumer that it fulfills a real need of either being entertained or informed and the product is weaved in extremely uh, you know colorlessly into the whole story i think that forms the best uh, marketing strategy you know marketing has two aspects right what you spend on the creative and what you spend on the media uh in fact even in traditional marketing you spend on the creative and you spend on the media if the creative and if you see the investment proportions probably 10% is invested in the creative and 90% is invested in the media now if the creative itself the film or the content that's generated even if it's a direct ad film if it is superlative or if it's really really good then the effectiveness it delivers on the same media plan is massive similarly in content marketing if the content itself has turned out to be really good and appealing to the consumer then it will find its own media and you know your consumer will turn to be your media turn out to be your media so uh, which we now call virality in uh, you know lingo and in jargon but uh, the whole thing is how do you leverage on the same media how do you maximize on the same media the multiplier effect is what a good content piece can give you and i think in with content marketing you have a greater opportunity a greater leverage because the piece can be a little longer you're not restricted to your 30 second creative and uh, if you're able to get a great story going over there or a great piece of content which is meaningful and therefore the consumer itself becomes your media it can definitely save you on budgets or the effectiveness of your campaign so therefore the roi digital as a platform has really really evolved in the last 5 years in fact it's just in the last 18 months where it's become or tending to become mass content marketing before that was largely uh, you know restricted to the television or the radio medium and uh, digital never while people did experiment it was really not giving you the same reach uh, i think now uh you can actually segmentize your con- you know your audiences and therefore have probably 30 different ways a same campaign ends depending on whom you are targeting uh so i would say digital as it becomes more and more mass will provide a wider platform to innovate and uh story tell for the consumer uh, for the advertisers so i think even today uh the traditional media is too too way too big you know for uh the uh digital media to affect it in a big way yeah but uh the advantages of digital media in terms of targeting or uh you know innovation are way more i think traditional media in the lot of cases is catching up and coming up with a lot of innovative ad formats but i think still digital cannot you know match the reach that uh and the noticeability that traditional can give you and when i say traditional it's not only television right see the way print has innovated in fact there's a resurgence of print in the last 5 years the way outdoors has you know being impact has been impactful in fact a lot of digital media is actually using outdoors to make an impact because beyond a point there is also a blind spot in digital so um while it is forcing the traditional media to be innovative i think it traditional still has a great place of its own